we got a simple topic for today's video. Do what you're good at. Hey, it's Ryan with Long Crack. Welcome back to um, another episode of Ryan with a GoPro and a Volvo. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just placed one of our yard signs at this uh, three-way intersection back here. So I'm out running around uh, placing signs. But I strategically wanted to place these signs. I didn't trust one of my guys to go put them in the right place or put them at the right angle and stuff like that. So I'm like, I'm going to do it myself. But anyways, um, I just, I'm reading a book. It's called The 80-20 Principle. I'm a freaking huge fan of uh, the 80-20 Principle itself, not, not the book. Um, but the book has actually turned out to be really really good because I was like what this guy's gonna write a book on the 80 20 principle and you know how much could there possibly be it's really good stuff um, I heard Tim Ferriss say you should read it on a podcast and I was like yes sir Tim I will uh, get that on my wish list and I'm not even reading it it's boring as hell um, and I'm listening to it and it's it's tough but the the knowledge contained in this book is so good and he just went through how you should do what you're good at, what you're best at, and then you delegate and you hire and you know, you get subcontractors, independent contractors, you get a CPA, you get a lawyer, all this kind of stuff. He didn't necessarily say this in the book, but that's what he's getting at. Um, and that's, that's what I'm finally wrapping my head around as I'm really starting to make a whole lot of money and it's just it's so easy once you realize you just you can't do what everybody else is doing if you you see these guys that are working really hard who do you know that is working really freaking hard that is making any money hardly anybody my phone has just been blowing up all day i'm sorry um but no hard work does not make you money hard work you know gets you uh a bad back and stuff like that it, it does not make make you a lot of money very rarely does hard work make you money but I'm just saying um, so think about what specialize in what what you're good at that's it specialize in what you're good at do that anything else you need someone else to do it um, it's the people that are making the money are the people that are organizing stuff and that, that's exactly what I'm doing with lawn crack and that's why everything is going so freaking smoothly right now but it, it's way more than that and I, I just I can't even describe um, this how, how important this is this is so important that you realize that you can't as the owner of your company do everything you cannot do it and for example like I'm getting ready to sell my house um, I have to do all kinds of work to it. I just had a, a legitimate like painter uh, company, you know what I'm saying, come walk through the house, get me an estimate, and they had the right tools to quickly measure how much paint they're gonna need. They, um, you know, were like, this, this looks like it could be oil-based and blah, blah, blah. If it's oil-based, then we, got, we can't just put uh, latex paint on top of it and this and uh, to do that, you need this little tool right here or whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, this is exactly why I'm not painting my house. Although I am 100% fully capable to paint my house, that it would just be so stupid. The, the finished product would not be nearly as good as having these guys do it. Um, I, and my time is worth more than what I'm gonna pay these painters for the amount of time it would take me to, to paint my house and you know, go and get the paint and tape stuff and sand and blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'd much rather, I, I haven't got the quote yet, but on my guess, my gut feelings, it's gonna be like $3,500 because every baseboard, um, everything, the walls, the ceilings, and even some stuff outside has to get painted to, to sell my house and, and get you know anything close to what it's worth and it should be worth way more than the comps and all this I, I, don't, I don't know how it's gonna go I, I really don't care just because I'm just gonna make more money in the future new money who cares about the old money don't worry about the past focus on the future and realize what you're doing today is gonna create your future 
So if you are watching TV today, don't expect anything good to happen in a week. If you are learning a new skill today, possibly, you know, you could put that new skill to, to work and, you know, make mo more money in the future. So just real, you know, simple, basic examples. But man, it is getting super hectic around here. I'm now like shooting these videos the day of the video. So hopefully they're uh, halfway decent because I just, I don't really have it, have the opportunity to be like, oh, I didn't really like that video. I'll just use a different one or shoot a different one because it's like literally a couple hours before it's going to be slapped up onto YouTube. So I hope you are doing well. Um, everything's, you know, falling in place and you're doing what you got to do. But at the end of the day, you got to do it. And until the next video, keep making money.